Thanks to the recent commercialization of space, rockets have improved and companies like SpaceX are bringing more powerful and more affordable rockets to the market. Without a doubt, as this technology improves, we will soon be having interplanetary travel. Most eyes are on Mars, with both NASA and SpaceX intending to send humans to the Red Planet. Mars is a great option for many reasons, but some people argue that Venus would be a better choice. I'm planning to do a way more in-depth video about both planets discussing their potential for human habitation and even terraforming. But for this video, let's just look at the NASA concept that would be our first step in visiting Venus. Havoc. Hello everybody, welcome to Future Leaps, the channel where we look at everything in science, technology, and engineering to learn about what they are and what potential they have for the future. In this video, we will learn what Havoc is, how it would be implemented, and if successful, how the new technology can allow for permanent human presence on Venus. Well, not on Venus, but rather in the Venus atmosphere. See, Venus has an atmosphere 90 times thicker than Earth's. The weight of all that carbon dioxide means the pressure on the surface is incredibly high. Because of the greenhouse effect, heat is trapped in the atmosphere, making Venus the hottest planet in our solar system. The longest lasting probe on Venus was Venera 13, which only operated for 157 minutes. Even the most robust probes cannot survive these conditions, and as a result, we have been unable to study much of the surface and its atmosphere. Fortunately, as you go up in altitude, the atmosphere becomes thinner and the temperature and pressure become more bearable. At 50 kilometers altitude, the temperature is 75 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 1.05 atmospheres. As an added bonus, at this altitude there's 34% more solar energy and 26% more radiation shielding than on Earth's surface, making it perfect for a human mission. HAVIC, or High Altitude Venus Operations Concept, is a mission concept that takes advantage of these Earth-like conditions in the Venus atmosphere, and it proposes using airships that can float at this altitude, perform science, and eventually carry astronauts. The first phase of the project is to send a smaller robotic airship to collect more data and test out the concept. Then a larger version would be launched, this one with humans. The robotic airship is 31 meters long while the manned is 129 meters long and able to carry two astronauts. The first missions would be 30 days long and then increased to one year. If successful, there's potential that Havoc can be used for permanent human habitation in Venus. Let's look at the design of the airship. Thanks to its large surface area and the higher sun intensity on Venus, solar panels along the top are able to power the mission enough that it can operate all the time, even during night hours. The atmospheric habitat would be where the astronauts live, and the ascent vehicle can detach and bring the astronauts home. The propulsion system is a propeller used to counter northern winds, while the airship itself relies on the longitudinal winds to travel around Venus. Given wind speeds and propulsion, Havoc would travel around the planet about every five days. Now let's look at the trajectory the mission takes. Using a 30-day visit plan, the payload would be launched from Earth with a delta V of 3,900 meters per second, and after 110 days, it would arrive at Venus. Delta V is the change in velocity, so the rocket needs to speed up by that value so that its kinetic energy is enough to escape Earth's gravity and reach Venus. Once it does reach Venus, it will detach and the airship will fold out and begin expanding. After 30 days, the ascent vehicle will be used to return to orbit with a delta V of 4,100 meters per second. 300 days later, the astronauts will land back at Earth. Now that we've covered how it was designed and how it is expected to work, we can now talk about the more long-term goal of making this a permanent habitat. There is a desire to have permanent human presence since little research on Venus has been done, and the more science we could do, the better. Assuming the airship design is successful, we could see newer models that are larger and can accommodate more people for a longer time. I personally would love to see this, but it's mostly science fiction for now. I'm at least happy if this mission is completed and successful since the science done will help our understanding of Venus and the technology can be proven successful, which opens the door for many more possibilities. 
As always, I want to reiterate that this is just a concept, and at the moment NASA is still doing research to see if it is a realistic mission. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate the support on this channel I've received recently, especially with my Skyline Spaceplane video, and I hope you liked this video. Please be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more, and leave a comment telling me what you think about Havoc.